Well, you've planted your butterfly garden, and now that all the flowers are blooming, you have lots of butterflies visiting. Some, like the cabbage whites, are easy to identify, but how can you tell what some of the other visitors are? Today we'll go over some of the tools that will be useful to help you identify butterflies in your backyard and beyond. First, a good field identification book is in order. I wouldn't stop with just one, as you can accumulate several, either by purchasing or receiving them as gifts. The Division of Wildlife offers a free guide, Common Butterflies and Skippers of Ohio. Call 1-800-WILDLIFE and ask for publication 204 or download it on wildohio.com. This small book, Butterflies of Ohio, is relatively new, published in 2004. It contains very basic information and the butterflies are organized by color. Another book that I refer to often is this one called Butterflies Through Binoculars. But don't think that a good field guide has to be big to be better. Leave the more detailed books at home to use as a reference to look up more information on the butterflies after you've identified them. Other tools that will be handy include binoculars with a close focus to help you get a good look at a butterfly from a fair distance. A digital camera is handy to record the butterfly for a closer look later. And you can always consider capturing a butterfly. A good butterfly net has a wide hoop with a long, deep net to minimize damage when capturing a butterfly. The next step is to get outside and start looking for butterflies. Butterflies will be most active on sunny, warm days. Begin by noticing the size of the butterfly in relation to other butterflies that you know. Also important is the colors of the butterfly on the wings, both the top and the underside of the wings. If the butterfly is resting on a flower, does it have its wings folded or spread? And as you get further into butterfly identification, your eye will also pick up detail on how the butterfly flies in relation to other butterflies. Some species have a specific time of summer when they can be seen. This is called a flight period. So for some species, you'll double check whether it's the right time of the season to see that particular butterfly. Butterfly watching is a lot like bird watching. It just takes a little attention to detail to help differentiate one species from the other. Combine that with learning a little or a lot about what you are seeing and you've got a hobby set for all ages. Join us next time as we take a closer look at some of the butterflies you might find in your backyard. For Wild Ohio, I'm Donna Daniel.